Workload gives you a single view of your team's bandwidth so you can make informed staffing decisions and rebalance schedules if needed. Here's how. First, click on Portfolios from the sidebar. Workload and Portfolios work together to give you a high-level view for better planning and reporting. Next, choose the portfolio with projects your team is working on, or create one if needed. Let's pretend we're a campaign manager checking in on our team. From the Portfolio view, click the Workload tab at the top left. Now you'll see the initial workload view, which you can filter and modify for better planning. Here's how. By default, workload shows bandwidth by task count, but if you'd like it to take effort or hours into account, click Add Effort. Then choose any numeric custom field from your library, or create a new one and add it to your portfolio projects. Next, you can set your team's weekly capacity. We'll set it to 40 hours for everyone, but you can customize by person, like if you were working with a contractor only providing 10 hours. Seeing teammates you don't need to, you can filter who shows up. Click Filter and select the teammates or search by their name and role. Need to see a different time frame? You can change the view by day, month, quarter, etc. Click Save View so you can jump back in every time with no extra setup. You can always modify and resave. Voila! Now you can see your team's bandwidth and make any adjustments. If you notice a teammate is over capacity in red, you can use workload to adjust. Click the caret next to a teammate's name to see their task. To reassign the task, drag it to another teammate's area. To reschedule the task, drag it forward on the timeline. If you're not sure if it should be rescheduled or reassigned, leave a task comment to check in with the assignee. Now you're ready to use workload to keep schedules realistic, prevent burnout, and keep priorities on track.